buying things for an archaeology project. So you're going on an archaeology project and you want to buy some things. What should you buy? And we can talk about all sorts of things, right? The tools for the archaeology project, clothes you should wear, hat, boots, watch, right? We can go onward from there. What kind of car do you drive in archaeology? What kind of guitar do you play at the archaeological site at night? What kind of tent do you buy? Yeah, we can just, we can keep going with this sort of ad infinitum. Now, whatever it is that you need to get for an archaeology project, realize that overall you want to think of four things. You want to think simple, cheap, durable, and expendable. Simple, cheap, durable, and expendable, right? So these are your kind of four ideas, your mantra going forward. Should you get something, should you need to buy something or need to acquire something for an archaeology project? Let me explain further. So, if you're looking for um, clothing for an archaeology project, it should be simple, meaning jeans and t-shirt kind of thing, right? If you're looking for tools for an archaeology project, simple, right? Fewest moving parts. Don't get the deluxe version. It's only more things to break, okay? Simple. Simple is your friend. Now, second, cheap. Don't spend any extra money on any of this stuff. When in doubt you have an old one laying around, use the old one. That's free, right? Don't be suckered in. Sometimes things like, like boots, They'll be like, oh, you can have all these add-ons. It's $200, but it's worth it in the jungle. It needs to have a shank in the bottom, and it needs to be waterproof. No, it doesn't. Okay? Cheap. Cheap is fine. Now, are there moments when things can be too cheap? Sure there are. But overall, if you're right on that line, go cheap. It's just going to get nasty and break anyway in the jungle. Right? So, cheap. Number three. Durable. Durable. I know that it's like, what you, need, you want cheap and durable? Yes, I do. So, durable, right? Long-lasting. And actually, if something is simple, it's probably on the cheap side, and simple things are actually also durable. So, just when you think of that realm of things, something durable, like actually if we take the boot example again, if they're just kind of basic leather boots, Basic leather boots are pretty durable, right? That's, it's okay if they don't have, uh, if they're not water resistant, you know? It's okay if they don't have a shank or the right kind of laces, you know? It's all right. All of this stuff is just going to be destroyed in the jungle anyways, or in the desert, or wherever it is that you're going to go. And then finally, number four, expendable. If it breaks, if you lose it, no big deal. Don't take grandpa's expedition watch out on an archaeology project. It's just going to break and you're going to feel like an idiot. Okay, so with all those together, simple, cheap, durable, expendable, that's what you want to think about when you're buying things for an archaeology project. Or better yet, when you're finding things in your house that will work, you know, when you're... Um, uh, borrowing something from a friend, as long as they don't care, as long as it's expendable, right? That's okay for an archaeology project. Those kind of things will, will work. Okay, so again, are there moments here where we have to break our rules? Sure, right? There's, there's moments there like you might need a kind of expensive bit of mapping equipment, or you might need a, a computer that does certain things that will be expensive, you know, that is not expendable. But those things are few and far between. Don't get sucked down by ads and, and these kind of things that are like, oh, if you're going to this environment, you need these kind of things. You, you don't. In this series, I'll talk about other uh, commodities, specific things you can buy, whether it be clothes or hat or watch or boots or whatever it is. 
I'll, I'll do little video vignettes, I think, on all these kind of things. So I'll, as I give I examples, you'll, it'll make more sense to you. You know, hey, in the jungle, you need this. You know, hey, in the jungle, you really don't need this, right? So that's my idea with this overview is to kind of get the conversation started and I'll talk the specifics later but as long as you're doing uh, simple, cheap, durable and expendable you're in good shape.